found is that most people don't really even know what the term disruptive innovation means and as a result of that it's pretty hard to make that actionable in their business. So what Picasso said was that every act of creation is ultimately first and foremost an act of destruction. But what Picasso really was, and he didn't know it at the time, was a disruptive innovator. He destroyed a model and a philosophy and a belief of art and replaced it with whatever Picasso is. My wife would say stuff to me um, like, the trash is full. And I would think, totally. And so, <laughs> right? So like the next day, I'm out looking for bigger trash cans. Duh. <laughs> Who doesn't know that, right? Now, the problem is, is that most people don't really put together a plan. And maybe you don't need a customer service plan. Maybe you really don't need it, because these guys know what they need to do. I mean, they've got a truck, and the truck needs to go back on its wheel. Why do you need a plan to do that? I mean, anybody knows that you get it together, you put it on its wheels, and everything's going to be fine. <laughs> Ish. You see, the one thing that's great about innovation is it's easy. Innovation is really easy. The hard part is knowing what to invent. In fact, 85% of all consumer products fail in the marketplace because they don't understand and connect and collaborate with the very customers they serve. In fact, in the patent space, it's even worse. There are 3,000 patents that are filed each and every week. And out of those 3,000 patents, only about 1% ever reach successful commercialization. So it means that we create stuff, but the stuff that we create isn't relevant to the very people that we serve. So as we think about innovation, the very beginning, the genesis of innovation is really understanding what they love and what they hate. And as I share with you some stories today about the innovation superstars, you'll see that they're extremely good at that. Turns out these organizations actually are getting far better returns, in some cases 50, 60 percent better returns on strategy by using and leveraging the power of enterprise innovation. That's pretty cool.